Greetings, HP Touchpad users. This is Reverend Kyle, your Minister of Mobile Devices, and I'm sitting here with my HP Touchpad in the WebOS operating system. Now, the title of this video is How to Root your HP touchpad with the WebOS. However, root might not necessarily be the correct term here. Uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to put the WebOS operating system into what is called developer mode. Developer mode allows you to install uh, a program called Preware, and that Preware will allow you to then install applications that you wouldn't find in the normal HP app catalog. So let's get started here. In your Just Type box, we are going to type in Web OS 2009-0606. Now that should bring up a icon under launch called developer mode. If we tap developer mode, it will come up with the option to turn developer mode off or on. And we're going to turn it on. Now this will come up and ask for a developer mode password. Do not type anything into this box. Simply hit the submit button. It will take a moment and now your device is in developer mode. So you can close this card. Now just so you know, this same process works for any version of the WebOS software. From here, we're going to connect the HP touchpad to the computer and we are going to then use what's called the WebOS Quick Installer application and that will allow us to install the preware on this device. So let's switch over to the computer and get that started. The first thing we need to do is download this file, webos quick install 4.3.1.jar. I will put a link to this file in the description of the video. This file is relatively small as it is a Java file. Now you do have to have Java installed on your computer in order to execute this file. If you do not have Java installed on your computer, you can go to java.com and do so. I've already downloaded this file and placed it on my desktop. And here is the file. Now I have my touchpad plugged into my USB cord. I did not choose USB drive, nor did I choose close on the touchpad. I simply left it alone. So as it stands right now, my touchpad is plugged in to the USB cord and it does not go into USB drive mode. So I will now double click this jar file and the WebOS quick install will come up. Now one of two possibilities can occur here. Number one, you'll see exactly what I see here. The other possibility is that you may get a message saying that the Novacom drivers have not been installed correctly or need to be reinstalled. If that's the case, then first check to make sure that the touchpad is plugged in correctly and that you did not choose USB drive. Secondly, if it does say that you can reinstall the Novacom drivers, you may want to try doing that. If this is your first time doing any process like this, you may not have the Novacom drivers at all or they could be installed incorrectly. The Novacom drivers are relatively fickle and can be uh, needed to be reinstalled from time to time. So I'm going to assume that you've gotten yourself to this point and that everything is working correctly. And the next thing I'm going to do here is click on the small globe. Here it's going to go and download all of the files that are available for the WebOS Quick Installer to install for you and here they all are. And you'll notice that there are several tabs across the top. I'm going to go to Applications and I'm going to type in Preware and it will find Preware here for you and you can hit the Install button. So keep in mind here I'm under the Applications tab, I've typed in Preware, hit Enter and now it has found it. So it's highlighted and I'm going to hit Install. And at this point, it is actually installing the IPK file onto my tablet. And that's it. That's all we have to do. So now I'm going to close this, and I'm going to close this, and now I'm going to go back to my touchpad.
At this point, I can now unplug the USB cable from the touchpad, and the USB message will then go away. Now, how do we know that what we installed is actually there? Well, let's go take a look. We'll go into the menu, and we're actually under the downloads uh, under your menu, and you should see a new icon here, and it's called Preware with a penguin in a box. Now, when we go to this, it's going to go in and download the feed information just like the WebOS Quick Installer application did. Obviously, you'll want to be connected to Wi-Fi uh, in order for that to work. File type association will probably pop up for you the first time. This is basically asking if you want to associate Preware for installing IPK files. Uh, for those of you who do not know, IPK is the extension for the WebOS applications. We're going to say yes to this. Now you're done. Uh, you now officially have Preware on your HP touchpad in the uh, WebOS operating system and from here you can go in and look at the different packages that exist. Uh, you can go in and add additional uh, kernels in here. Uh, I do want to leave you with two disclaimers. Uh, disclaimer number one is that please do some research before you install any of this, especially the alternate kernels. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. And secondly, if you are currently or planning to at a later date running Android on this tablet, I would uh, encourage you to not touch the kernels in the WebOS. That could cause some problems down the road. But feel free to go in and look at the different applications. Uh, there are a lot of other devices uh, or I'm sorry, a lot of other applications in here that you might find um, intriguing. And I'll just install some random application here. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be an Anchorman soundboard. You'll see it goes out and downloads and uh, installs the application all at one time for you. If at any time you get an error saying that it can't install or it can't find it, uh, reboot and try again. Application has been installed. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out to my app drawer here and go to downloads and I should see my application and there it is. Anchorman soundboard. And there we have it. So, uh, from here, you should be very well versed in uh, how to, and again, it's not a true root, but how to enter your WebOS into developer mode and how to get Preware on your WebOS operating system.